Okay guys, um, welcome to um, Notice Local Unboxing. Uh, it's Hot Toys figure, uh, which is quite a rarity these days for me. Um, I don't think I've got a Hot Toys figure in like um, a year, like over a year. I can't remember the last Hot Toys figure I actually got. Um, I think it was um, Deadpool. That was about this time last year. So yeah, um, kind of like. Uh, a uh, multitude of reasons for not um, picking up um, more Hot Toys figures, um, mainly because um, like uh, the stuff that they do um, don't really float my boat. You know, like the um, the uh, Justice League stuff, uh, whatever the um, Star Wars. So it's not really um, like my bang and all that. So um, yeah, but um, yeah, picked up um, my latest little figure and uh, yeah, just get the old bubble wrap off and then. Um, we get down to the unboxing. Okay, so a nice um, load of um, bubble wrap on the figure, protecting it. Uh, also came in a box as well. Got this um, from Hong Kong uh, eBay seller, t uh, time cent or Tim cent or whatever. So yeah, if you want to get your figures like early doors, um, the, like get them from him uh, on eBay. If you don't mind um, waiting for a bit, then just use um, like. Um, well, I'm in England, so or whatever, so I just use a British retailer. Um, there's plenty of good ones out there, like Toy HQ, Good Bad Robots, and all that. So, um, but yeah, if you want the figures like quick time, uh, and you're willing to pay a little bit extra, I mean, this was um, 220, so not bad, not bad for a figure. Um, you'd probably be able to get it for under 200, um, right? If you wait a little bit longer and all that. But for a few quid, um, like, it doesn't really um, matter that much. So obviously, yeah, it's um, a Ripley, a Scorny Weaver from um, the iconic uh, uh, action sci-fi horror um, Alien, uh, 1975, uh, Ridley Scott's masterpiece. So yeah, um, this figure has been a long time in the way in the in the um, uh, waiting. Uh, it's um, it was originally um, sort of like. Um, uh, the first protos were released in 2014, uh, midway through 2014, so yeah, it's about three years uh, down the line, so it's quite a wait for a figure and all that, and um, there's been a few jokes on um, the forums and all that, uh, and all that, you know, Sideshow Freaks about the length of time that it's taken for the um, figures to come out and all that, but yeah, it's finally been released and all that, so yeah, let's uh, get the plastic um, covering off a bit and then uh, see what you get. So there you go, MMS 366, uh, 160, collapsible figure, Alan Ripley. Uh, the alien letter in. And then picture of the um, figure. I'm not sure if that's um, the sculpt that you get, or if that was um, taken of um, like a previous figure and all that, because this figure was actually, just look at the side as well. Uh, this figure was actually uh, originally it was intended for release. Um, it was amongst the upcoming figures, like back in April or something like that, April or May, and um, all the other upcoming figures came out um, apart from Ripley. So there was obviously a delay in production somewhere along the line, and um, you know your guess is as good as mine um, why that was. Um, I I think it was um, for a um, sculpt revision. Um, personally, um, because um, yeah, I'm not sure if that is the um, sculpt that we actually get, the one that's on the um, box. Just see how with a little flamethrower thing. So yeah, um, let's um, crack the slip cover up. Okay, so there's the figure. All pretty standard hot toys fair. Uh, the old clam shell in and um, the window box design you could just um, display these in their boxes if you like you know not get them out at all um, you could display them just like that couldn't you if you had the room and all that to display them in their boxes I I'd love to um, display some of my boxes personally because I think some of them um, especially the Hot Toys ones are real um, like work works of art and stuff like that in, them in themselves like really great um, um, box designs and all that and the artwork on the box as well. Just look at the credits. Uh, nice design on the back, uh, mimicking the um, Nostromo um, 
looks like the uh, Nostromo like gangway and all that and then going into um, where they have the computer mother I think that's what it is anyway I'm not an authority on Alien I haven't watched it obviously um, but you know I'm not 100% um, you know up to date with, uh, with it all and all that so um, but yeah let's uh, get the figure out and uh, show you in a little bit more detail what you get Okay guys, uh, so I just got the um, clamshell in off and uh, yeah, there's the figure uh, Ripley, Scorny Weaver Pretty good likeness, I think you agree You know, not not like 100% but yeah, certainly um, you know, a really good um, resemblance to Scorny Weaver in the uh, film editing There's the uh, tracking device uh, the alien tracking device that they put together nicely detailed uh, the watch there just put it on her wrist just watch a couple of extra uh, buttons I'll go on the uniform somewhere uh, a uh, flamethrower really nicely detailed Because they've um, they've got no uh, like guns or anything on the Nostromo, so they've got nothing to actually like fight the alien with. So they um, put together the flamethrower. It's like their only means of defence. Um, there's the um, base uh, display stand, uh, which is there to uh, uh, okay. So yeah, so the yeah, main play Ripley floor of the um, spaceship and Nostromo and um, you see damage there um, you know from um, the alien obviously like, um, in the film um, the alien uh, sort of like is acid um, it burns through the um, the whole deck and all that so it's not to be replicated there yeah, it's so really nice I do like it when they um, put an actual um, Right diorama base with these figures, uh, some extra hands, like a trigger for the um, flamethrower, um, yeah, one for that, and the uh, right and left fist. Uh, there's uh, the cat, the infamous cat. <laughs> I've been getting a bit of stick on um, Sideshow Freaks um, for its likeness to um, the uh, the actor Jonesy um, or the character Jonesy rather not sure what the actual name of the cat was in the film but yeah you know it's a 1-6 cat you know at the end of the day so you know I'm not too fussed about it um, and then there's a little um, cat box thing all like nicely detailed really nice and there let's just take a bit of a closer look at the um, figure um, ok just a bit of um, plastic or whatever on the neck so I just remove that and, um, on the feet and on the hand there so yeah I think that's a really good likeness you know Scorny Weaver from um, Alien and um, this is like um, Sukorni Weaver's first like real starring role, I guess. Back in uh, 1979, I think she was pretty much unheard of before then. Real breakthrough role for her. The um, strong uh, female character, which was kind of like a first, um, like in an action film, to make a female the lead character and the, like, the strong one and all that. Just a little patch on there, the US, um, UCSS Nostromo on the other side too. So yeah, great detailing on the um, outfit. And yeah, um, it's a uh, sculpted hair um, as opposed to like rooted. Uh, there was prototypes, um, various prototypes with rooted hair. But I think um, they've done well to go for the um, sculpted um, look. I think uh, rooted hair can um, 
be a bit of a pain and I think it would have been a bit of a pain in this you know you, you can never really get it right and it never really looks authentic on a 1-6 figure so I think sculpted hair was the best option to go for so yeah really um, impressed as I say this is my first Hot Toys figure in like quite a while and um, you know due to like lack of space and all that and um, a lot of the figures I've got other figures as well but not Hot Toys ones a lot of their um, current current franchise and all that don't really float my boat but this was a must get for me like, um fan of like the the movie and all that like, it's a real um like cult favorite and all that and uh and yeah so uh, i'll just um quickly uh, pose it up in my detail if i've actually got a couple of alien figures there um kane and dallas the um the suits um they're about uh 2008 or 2009 that's like nearly 10 years old so yeah I'll just uh, pose her up and uh, then sh uh, show you uh, what she looks like in like a basic pose and all that and in the detail um, under the lights and all that give you a better look at it so yeah okay guys um, just set the uh, figure up really quickly um, okay so just holding the uh, flamethrower right hand uh, I'll play with the little strap a little, um, little bit more give it, give it a bit more slack uh, holding the um, alien tracker device in the other hand just got a kind of like um, looking up like, like pensive sort of look as if she's um, like just spotted the alien or something like that so just on the base also got the um, the uh, cat carrier um, and you'll notice that uh, the cat is it's actually got his back to us so that's probably the best option for you um, to pose that um, so you can see the cat in there but you can't see the um, face or anything like that so that's pretty neat um, there's my other alien figures that I've had for a while and um, yeah really happy with um, how it's turned out guys the figure um, I think you will be too um, as I say it's been a long wait for this figure um, about that three or four years um, well no almost four years seems like a lot longer but yeah um, yeah, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that um, brief little uh, view of the figure, um, guys. And um, yeah, I uh, hope you uh, look forward to getting your own figure if that's what you plan on doing. Uh, thanks for viewing. So, um, just a quick uh, little um, finishing off uh, video here uh, about the height of the figure. A lot of people are interested in the heights of um, figures. So as you can see, T1000 Robert Patrick. I think it's about six foot, maybe just a bit under, 5'11, 5'10. Scorny Weaver, who, according to our internet movie database bio, is 5'11 and three quarters, so near enough six foot. So you could um, arguably say she should be as tall, if not a little bit taller even, than Robert Patrick. C1000, Sarah Connor, who's a little bit shorter. Not sure about um, Linda Hamilton. Um, I think she's about five eight, maybe five six seven eight. And then obviously the big guy, um, Christopher Reeves, six four. He's in that movie um, bio. So yeah, uh, I think she is a little bit on the short side, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, but um, you know, it's no biggie really. But as you can see, the um, there's no. Um, there's no way that you could, I mean you could put um, long foot pegs on, that's an option but it might um, throw off the costume a little bit so yeah, um, brief summary is I think she is a tiny bit underscaled um, height wise which is a little bit of a shame but um, you know not not a major you know headache and all that but yeah just um, just to um, give you a heads up on that one guys so yeah maybe you could do with like being a like a quarter of an inch um, taller but yeah never mind guys but um, yeah thanks for that